Hallelujah. We are your creation. It is our joy. It is our privilege. Hallelujah. To do that of which, for which we were created. To give honor and praise unto you. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you ever wondered what made David so loved? Why were people so dedicated to David? I asked myself that when we began building a church in Singapore to a congregation. What was it that made men have such devotion that a mere wishing out loud that David could just kind of go, Oh, if I only had a drink of water from the well in Bethlehem. He had taken a little mental journey back to his youthful days of shepherding and undoubtedly and was thinking about how good that Bethlehem water tasted. Problem was, it was behind enemy lines. And yet these men that just heard David just sigh and wish broke through, hazarded their lives to break through the enemy lines to get him a canteen of water. And I thought, wow, I'd like to inspire that kind of loyalty. In a world where nothing seems to be very secure and very nailed down, when people's loyalty and allegiance seems to be rather flighty and here one day and gone the next. How, how do you get folks that say, I risked my life for this man just to get him a glass of water. And God took me to a verse in 2 Samuel chapter 23 and verse 1. 2 Samuel chapter 23. And verse 1. Now these be the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, said. And the man who was raised up on high. The, the anointed one the anointed of the God of Jacob and the sweet psalmist of Israel. That's the introduction that he gives. I want to talk to us for a while about worship makes you attractive to God and man. Worship makes you attractive to God and man. Can we just again, what a sweet, sweet, powerful presence of God that was here from the beginning. But did you feel it just surge just a moment ago? When we just kind of join together in one heart and one mind, it just, it just starts convulsing. It starts, it starts boiling. I mean, we go from zero to boiling point just that quick. Hmm. God, if I can say I believe he's anxious to bless us tonight. I, I believe that he's just, 
more than willing and ready. So would you ask God's blessing upon his word right now that our hearts and our minds are open. Jesus, we give you honor and praise. We thank you for the power of your word. We thank you for the stories that come to us. Hallelujah. From this holy Bible. God, that are given to us as examples that we might learn of you, your ways, your precepts, your principles. Hallelujah. What is pleasing unto you. God, I ask that you would let me by divine impartation. God, add something, hallelujah, to the repertoire of knowledge and blessing, hallelujah, of this congregation, of this great and group of people that have gathered tonight, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, that you would help. Let our eyes and ears be open, hallelujah, to what you would say to us in the spirit tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and we'll give you the honor and the glory and the praise. Hallelujah, those that have come tonight, reward them, hallelujah, with an injection and an infusion of divine virtue. Hallelujah, put strength into their bodies. Those that have sick loved ones at home, I ask for an angel of your presence to come with a gift of healing, Lord. Touch them that are sick. Hallelujah. Bless them, God, that are unable to be here tonight. Hallelujah. But whose heart is turned toward this house. Hallelujah. Would you give one clap, one accolade, one shout. Hallelujah. To him. Hallelujah. Ha! Yes. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Ha. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Oh, well, that feels good enough just to put a little dance to it. Hallelujah. What Jesus is doing in our lives. Hallelujah. What he's expanding unto us. The kingdom that he has opened up to those that love him and his ways. Mm. You may be seated if you please. David's an old man. It seems from the scripture that they're anticipating his demise at any time. And they send in the royal biographer. They send in the royal stenographer, so to speak, to record David's last words. But the recorder before he starts writing, he wants to give a preface. He wants to give an introduction to this man, David. This is their beloved king. This is the man that no one has extended the boundaries of Israel like David. No one has enlarged the borders of the kingdom like he has. There is not a greater figure in their history than this man, David. And so the writer wants to give him his proper due. The writer wants to recognize him in the way that would be, that, that, that would be appropriate for his greatness. And so he says, these are the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse. You ever thought? We probably wouldn't know who Jesse was if it wasn't for David. David, the son of Jesse. And then he says, the man who was raised up on high. Anybody in the house tonight would say, I'd like to be in that category. I'd like to be one that God lifts, that God elevates. Hallelujah, that God raises. Hey, that's not, that's not bad ambition. That's not being prideful to say, I want to be in God's hand. I want to be elevated. Is there somebody that would agree with me? Hallelujah, that that's a pretty good ambition. He goes on and he says, the anointed of God of Jacob. I don't know about you, but that sounds... That sounds pretty good. The anointed. Anybody want to see yourself anointed? I don't, I don't want my life to be wasted. 
And I've got good news. 